our family um, on our anniversary, and that was on the 1st of November. It was on the, uh, yeah, Wednesday. And uh, we all went out as a family. And just sitting there, looking at um, you know all my grandchildren, uh, looking at my own family, which I shared in our devotion the day after. And I was looking at Joshua, and Joshua is uh, 18 years old. And I kept looking at Joshua, and I said to myself, when I was Joshua's age, um, I was married, when I was Joshua's age. And uh, because I started work when I was 16 years old, I got married when I was 18. And I bought our car soon after we got married. And I was looking at his age, you know, he was talking around, because he's still in school, he's in year 13. Um, talking around as a normal 18 year old. And I was looking and I said, that was me, um, you know, um, in the beginning of his 39 years uh, of being married. And, and lives change, lives are different. Um, you know, when I look back, they seem to be more maturity before than now. Uh, now, if you look at the same age, hardly anybody is mature enough to look after their family. Maybe then there were not too many distractions. Life, and I always base it back because I, I serve God, uh, sharing it uh, last Sunday in our church uh, because of the word of God. Like it gives me that bonus, that confidence, even though it, my age was not a defining moment. My life was, and what I believe. And uh, when I got married when I was 18, I know exactly what I was getting myself into. I never go back home or ask for anything. I stood up and I look after my family. And not because of what I was earning or of who I am, but of the, the strong faith that I have um, in the Word of God. And that goes to you that are listening in today. Yeah. When you fill yourself up uh, with the Word of God, whatever denomination you were in, whatever, you know, wherever you are, it, it helps you uh, with your marriage. It helps you with the way that you carry your life. And uh, yeah, that maturity. So, and uh, you know, he was 22 then when we got married. I was matured beyond my age. Uh, because he still goes out, like, which I'm sharing this because it may, may be happening to your marriage. Uh, he still goes out like he's not married. He goes, does his rugby. Uh, he goes to the Matavito Kani, which we call the MYF. Uh, for Methodist uh, Church in Fiji. And I was the mother uh, with a child, and he was a young man uh, with no commitment. Even though he helps with finances, but life that he was living was not mature enough to be a father. And I'm sharing this because you may be going through the same. And, uh, and sometimes we don't want to admit that we are, we are that. Or, oh, as long as I bring money in, be grateful you have a roof above your head and I'm putting food on the table. You say those things to justify your absenteeism from home or you're not taking on your responsibility as a father. So whatever explanation that you may have, whatever that you do, you're always not admitting to the fact that there are responsibility that comes with marriage. And when that responsibility is not met, it, you know, the scale ticked on the other side. And like what I said, if if you're a faithful person, or if you are you know, grounded with the word of God like I was, with everything that was happening, I was oblivious to the fact what was happening. It didn't, it didn't shake me, uh, it didn't disturb me. There wasn't a time for me to stop him from doing what he's doing. Uh, he brings his friends home, he does whatever that he does, I help him, I support him. But I was strong in my faith that I continuously pray that one day he will change. And you may be the woman listening to me today that try doing what I'm doing. But some of us women, we couldn't care less. When it doesn't work, our husband is not committed, or still hanging out with his friends, and then you stand up and you say, okay, this is not for me. You know, I don't need this. And you walk the other way. So a lot of marriage breakup uh, stems back to the fact of the two individuals that have said to themselves, okay, you know, we are ready to start uh, a family. And also for those of you that are listening and not married yet, don't rush into marriage. Think it out, because marriage comes with responsibility. Not until you know you are ready to give in your portion of responsibility that you say to yourself that I'm ready to get married. Because if not, then you become the extra child that your wife doesn't need. Because you become the extra person to be looked after other than being the extra hand uh, to help in the family. And these are the little things that cause a lot of fights and cause a lot of uh, differences. Like if I have chose uh, to speak up my right or 